you know, your biodiversity is outside your door. Mm. Yeah, OK. So you would think in Ireland, we've got a handle on this. 50 shades of green and all that, yeah. all that business. But we, we have a lot of work to do. Totally. That's a bit of a PR dream, kind of really, at the moment. When you figure out what the Irish countryside is meant to look like, we're actually meant to have an oceanic temperate rainforest, is what Ireland's supposed to be covered in. There's a brilliant guy, if you're on Twitter, if you follow Irish Rainforest, he's like managing a bit that down. I think it's Cork or Kerry, Owen Dalton is his name. And it just shows you how magical the Irish countryside could be. But instead, we've got kind of really barren landscapes that are largely overgrazed, be it by sheep or deer. So we need to wow. really move away from that. Um, but that's obviously on a much grander scale. Most of us only have control of our back garden or maybe a local park. So there's lots of other things we can do to improve that as well. Weeds are a big thing, right? We never want to see them in our gardens. You you question how we deal with weeds. Yes, a weed. It's just a lovely, lovely plant in <laughs> potentially the wrong place. So it, need, it needs a new PR. It's more like Totally, totally. Yeah. 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 We are here to upgrade the dandelions <laughs> to being beautiful things that we actually need. Um, I've got a lovely one here. This looks like Tim Burton's uh, bouquet of horrors. <laughs> but, um, so dandelions basically, no mow until May is like mo November basically for your grass. Um, so that's like not cutting your grass for the entire month of May. Wow. This is the sort of month where all of the pollinators are coming out of hibernation. They need all of these early pollen things. So dandelions are absolutely fantastic when they're yellow for pollen for bees. Because they're all your grabbing yeah, onto me there. They're that mad address. to get their moment. Yeah. Um, and then when they go like this as well, they're brilliant food for birds. So lots of gorgeous bullfinches. You know, they've got the lovely pink bellies. They'll come into your garden to eat those oh, up. Wow. So yeah, um, now they, if you don't want loads of them you can pull them out once they get like that as well they're taproot things so they'll keep coming back year after year just get yeah. the whole root out um but yeah lots of the weeds are absolutely brilliant there's little clover that'll creep up through your grass as well if you leave it go a bit that's called bees bread and it's actually amazing to see the carpet of that how many bees will be crawling along trying to get all of that pollen while they're waiting for all the summer flowers to come out and they're so important so many of our global food systems rely on the bees so we really need to help them out however we can